Well, the Milwaukee Public School District is on standby to welcome Afghan students currently staying at Fort McCoy. Now, a majority of the refugees at that base are children. New at 6, Uba Ali explains how schools are getting ready to meet their needs. In this classroom at Fort McCoy, you see children learning English, but soon these children could possibly be entering the Milwaukee Public School District. Classrooms like this ESL class at South Division High School, taught by Francesca Merez. We have so much to learn from our students when we come into this, and we have to enter it with an open mind and an open heart. MPS has more than 80 English as a second language teachers, and with the incoming influx of more students, the district says it's prepared to meet their needs. It all depends on enrollment, and definitely the district is always saying if we need more, you know, uh, teachers to educate our children, we will get in them. Lorena Guinea is the director of bilingual education at MPS and tells us they could be getting Afghan students very soon. They told us <laughs> mid-October, okay, to the end of October. But again, that information keeps on changing. Now, MPS has sent out a reference guide like this to teachers that really explains how to interact with these kids and understand things like minimal eye contact being their way of showing respect. We are ready to, you know, to have them. We are not going to turn any student back. We, we embrace diversity. Our principals that have already offered and are making the little packages to welcome them at the schools. Guinea says the reason why the district is so prepared is because they've done this many times before and it always comes down to one thing. My greatest hope is that they will be able to have a great education and a great experience. In Milwaukee, Uba Ali, TMJ4 News.